When Elon Musk revealed the Model 3, he stated that this is merely the beginning and that they had another six months of production hell ahead of them. After that, he stated that the easiest part of the process is the design, whereas the production process is 100 times more difficult. The Gigapress printing system is an excellent illustration of how Tesla uses innovation to drive the industrial industry to its knees. What exactly is this Gigapress? The press that is used to create Tesla automobiles has been given this one-of-a-kind moniker. The most recent iteration of the Gigapress casting machine will have an output capacity of 8,000 tons and will be utilized in the production of Tesla Cybertrucks. At the moment, the Gigapress that is utilized in the manufacturing of Model Y has a capacity of 6,000 tons. Want to know more? Hey guys, welcome to the future space. In today's video, we will tell you everything about Tesla's new Gigapress. So stay with us until the end of the video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. The Tesla Motors Company's best-kept secret Tesla Motors has made significant investments in its Gigapress and will continue to do so. Yet the question remains whether or whether these enormous machines provide the company an advantage over its rivals, and if so, by how much. Since Tesla as a firm has a flair for undertaking massive projects, the presence of Gigapresses in its manufacturing facilities should not come as a surprise to anyone. These are enormous by any and all measures and might easily overtake the space of your flat. With a clamping force capability of 61 kilowatt newtons, the Gigapress is the most powerful die-casting machine that has ever been constructed. It takes more than 20 flatbed trucks and more than 400 tons of lifting capacity to deliver just one of them. According to the information that we have, they have dimensions of 20 meters by 7.5 meters by 6 meters. They are manufactured in Italy by a group of manufacturers known as IDRA and Tesla has become a customer of the firm for a considerable amount of time. There are still unfulfilled orders for a significant portion of the existing orders. It is interesting to note that though Tesla's Gigafactory is associated with the word Gigapress, the name was first conceived by Indra. The chassis of each Tesla vehicle is manufactured as a single piece using a tool called the Gigapress. This implies that the car maker only has to deal with a maximum of three pieces, rather than the 100 or so more parts that it would have to have deal with if it had practiced welding and bolting things together, similar to how the automotive business has historically operated. A Gigapress operates in the same manner as any other die-casting machine in that it makes use of a plunger to pour hot molten metal into a mold that will subsequently be recycled. The most notable distinction is the enormous size at which a Gigapress operates. Consider a plastic toy vehicle as an illustration of this concept. These cars are typically molded from a single piece of plastic before the wheels and tires are attached. Now, a picture that the entire undercarriage of the vehicle is constructed in the same manner, but this time using metal instead of wood. The chassis will be constructed of no more than three separate elements, with the front and back sections being joined to the framework of the battery pack. Using the Gigapress, the manufacturing process for the car chassis is broken down into a number of steps. Spraying the mold with soybean oil as part of the preparatory process is required since it will facilitate the easiness with which the completed chassis can be extracted from the mold. This is essential in order to facilitate the mold's use on several occasions. What are some of the advantages of using Gigapress? The primary advantages that come to Tesla from utilizing Gigapress are the reduced number of parts required and the shortened production time. The chassis of the Gigapress is made up of aluminum and silicon, which means that it is technically an alloy. The metal is melted by the Gigapress, which is a component of Tesla's external furnace. After reaching a temperature of around 850 degrees Celsius, the alloy will begin to melt, at which point a plunger will be used to pour the appropriate quantity into the mold. The mold is opened once it has reached a temperature of 400 degrees Celsius, and the chassis is then transported by a robot to a body of water in order to reach a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. At this point, the chassis will undergo a quality assurance inspection, after which the sharp corners will be smoothed out. The robot will then proceed to drill all of the necessary holes after that step is complete. Because the installation of Gigapress requires a significant amount of money and space, it's possible that Tesla wanted to be sure the advantages would be worth the expenditure. There is no denying the fact that Gigapress is a revolutionary technology in the automotive sector. The most noticeable benefit is speed, since despite their enormous ratio, they do their tasks in a very quick manner. 
The aluminum silicon alloy can move from molten metal to chassis in fewer than 100 seconds, which is a very fast speed according to the requirements provided by IDRA. When compared to the several laborious procedures necessary in constructing and then attaching more than 100 individual pieces to one another. This merely indicates that Tesla is capable of producing more automobiles than the competition. JP Morgan went to see a Gigapress in operation and was quite pleased by what he saw. They performed some fast arithmetic assuming a cycle duration of 4 to 5 minutes and concluded that a facility with 10 Gigapresses operating in regular shifts would be able to produce 350,000 Model Y chassis in a single calendar year. The reason for this is that the Model Y chassis needs two Gigapresses, a number that rises as the Gigapresses function closer to the specifications set up by the manufacturer. Even though they are still being improved, workers at the Fremont facility have been observed doing a task in fewer than 200 seconds. This is despite the fact that the process is still being refined. This indicates that a new plant has the potential to produce 100,000 units in its first year of operation with no difficulty. In the realm of automobile manufacturing, figures of this magnitude are virtually unheard of. Keep in mind that Tesla plans to produce 750,000 vehicles this year, with that number increasing by 50% in 2019. The Gigapress is an example of a weapon that is not top secret. Fremont Austin with Gigapress shooting in Berlin and Shanghai respectively. It does not appear that the goal of more than 100,000 automobiles will be impossible to achieve. The reduction in expenses is another advantage of using Gigapresses. In spite of the substantial initial expenditure, certain types of muskets are obsessive about lowering the cost of manufacturing for such vehicles. This is because certain type of muskets erase a significant portion of the costs associated with operating the vehicles. For instance, because there is not a great deal of coupling or lifting that has to be done, a single Gigapress may replace the need for around 300 robots. According to Musk himself, he is saying something following his drive for a production method that is powered by robots for the Model 3, according to this. Because of Gigapress, space needs have been reduced by around 30%. The production costs are rather cheap, which means that there has been a drop of around 30% in the size of the body shop. This may come as a surprise considering the size of the machines, but the fact that there are less room and fewer robots means that the maintenance expenditure will be lower. Although this may cause some people to lose their employment, the economic significance of Echo Press cannot be overstated. Consider the logistical challenges that would be presented by the production of more than 100 pieces in many locations, keeping an eye on the quality and getting them to the assembly factory in a timely manner. Because it has such a large number of Gigapresses, Tesla has been able to avoid all of that. When Gigapresses are incorporated into the construction of the chassis, the overall cost is lowered by around 40%. Keep in mind that Musk has a serious interest in developing an affordable electric vehicle. With all of the cost reductions that have been made here and there, an electric car that costs $25,000 could start to appear more plausible. It essentially indicates that Tesla has discovered a quicker and less expensive way to surpass its competitors and produce superior automobiles. As Tesla continues to dominate the industry, the company has increased the number of Gigapress orders it has placed with Indra. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. I see you find the video interesting, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for future updates. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.